How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And today in my hand is the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 5G edition. So I'm in New York for the Samsung Unpacked event and we get to check out these devices. They look amazing. There's not a lot of changes going on here, but it's been incrementally upgraded. So it's more powerful. It's a lot more you can do with a camera. The S Pen's still there, that's something we love. But I've got bad news for you guys. That 3.5 mil headphone jack is gone. That's something I really, really loved about the Samsung Galaxy Note devices, Galaxy series in general anyway. We've still got the S Pen, so you can do things like gestures, you can write on the screen, you can use it to take screenshots, you can use it to take photos remotely. So all that's still there. We've got this new Infinity O display, so I'm gonna stick a video in now where it compares the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 next to this one. So you can see how much they've stretched the display so we get more screen real estate out of this. And here goes that buzzword that we all love on YouTube. Um, they've ditched that Bixby button, so it's been refined. So all the buttons are on the side, on the left side of the device. So you've got the power and the volume rockers there, so you can easily reach them as well. And I don't, I don't have the biggest of hands out there at all, so that's great. Um, elsewhere, we've got a powerful processor in there. We've got the latest Exynos processor, and that's coupled with a Qualcomm 5G modem in there. So if you get the 5G version, that's what you'll be getting in the UK. And elsewhere, we've got 12 gig of RAM and up to one terabyte of internal storage. That's absolutely huge. So you can store as much as you want on here. You can capture all the videos you want to do. You can even do video editing as well. For software in terms of video, they've introduced live focus for video, so you can do that on the front and uh, the, the rear cameras as well. So you'll be able to do live focus in video and not just for photography. There's also a new AR uh, mode on the, photog uh, on the video side of things. So you'll be able to draw on the person that you're focusing on so you can, it moves, it, it tracks with what you've written on the screen as well. It looks pretty neat. I don't know what the use case will be for that just yet, but it'll be a little fun thing to do uh, on the move. Maybe you can use it as an interactive way of navigating people if you're in a new city and trying to tell someone to get to your house. It might be a good interactive way to do so as well. In terms of battery, you've got 4,300 milliamp hour battery, so that should last you more than a day. And with a seven nanometer, if I can get the word out right there, our processor, it means this should last more than a day, we hope. But when we get it in for review, we'll be able to test that and see how much, how long it lasts us. You still got power share, so you can wirelessly charge other devices. So I've got Samsung Galaxy Bud uh, earphones. I'll be able to use, the ch use this to charge that wirelessly by just resting it on the phone as well. You've got 45 watt supercharge, so that's gonna be really quick. And you've also got wireless charge 2.0, again, upgrade to make it quicker as well and faster uh, for charging. But I think that's it in a nutshell. I can't think of anything else that I've seen that I'm, I should tell you guys. But again, stay tuned for more. There'll be loads of photos, photo samples from this. There'll be um, uh, videos as well. There'll be a review of this eventually as well when I get to it. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.